Hello my soccer universe, we're already at part 5 of the World Cup jersey review. Those reviews are long because we have 8 groups, many teams to cover. And let's see when I'll be done. I hope to be done before the group stage, but it might cut it tight to be honest. Uh, group E is very much an Adidas group with uh, three of Adidas biggest teams in there in Spain, Germany and of course Japan, whose new jersey I am wearing. Giving our our already waited, I'm very much in love with this one. So how am I going through this? I'm going through this um, as by the seeding. So we'll go first uh, Spain, then we go Costa Rica, then we go Germany, then we go Japan. We look at all the jerseys released for this World Cup. I give a grade from one to ten. One being the lowest, ten being the highest. And yeah, then we'll see. Then you will have an idea which jerseys I do like in here and which ones I don't. And then I also would like to know uh, your opinion in the comments below. Enough preamble. I think we should get started. And we'll start, as I said, with Spain, with their new home jersey, which is, first of all, the first one with the new Federation crest, although you wouldn't really know it uh, because it is not that, that much changed. However, the crest is a little bit straightened out. There's the new Federation logo on the bottom, which is kind of the circle. Uh, but the main part of the co-occult of Arms in Spain is, albeit in a slightly altered form, still there. I think the only thing I don't like about this one is monochromatic, because um, I don't know if you've realized, ever since they brought out the 2008 version of the crest, which was this one here, day one, this came out for 2008, day one, every tournament that they had this full colored crest, on their home jersey. It was in 2010 they had this one, 2012, and then they went monochromatic. So in that sense, whenever uh, Spain had a monochromatic crest, uh, or the crest just by itself without any shield around it, they've never won anything. How that nobody in Spain ever realized is beyond me. Having said that, I think the crest is probably the least problem, although I really love the full colored version. Uh, that also has to be clearly said, so a slight downgrade there. The jersey in itself, uh, if we look at it from the front, looks actually really nice and class. I think that the collar could use a little triangle to come down. It's the same thing here with this uh, Japan shirt. Uh, all the Adil shirts have kind of this part here and then, yeah, I'm wearing a black shirt under, but you know, uh, they have this inset here um, where I think it might look better if there's a triangle. It would give it a, a more natural feel than, the, um, you know, look at the 98 shirt. It did something similar there. What I do like is that the Spain flag is going uh, through the collar. That is really nice. And we have, and I also like the navy uh, stripes on top. That actually looks quite cool. Although I'm a little bit more used to the yellow ones. But I have to say the navy. This looks really, 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 really nice. Um, I wish there were sleeve cuffs also in flag colors. I think this would elevate the jersey, but it's a very understated one. The the one gripe, and you can cannot can see in the pictures that I provided here, is that uh, on the back there are some uh, patches that are recolored. I can show you on the Argentina away jersey. Um, you know, the same thing here is we have the red and then we have uh, navy here, which really don't look good. And that's an Adidas problem throughout uh, this World Cup, except for certain jerseys like the Japan away jersey. However, there's definitely more likes than dislikes here. I think this is a very good Spain jersey. I don't know why they're uh, wearing it mostly in all red, although they, the home uh, shorts would be in navy. But this one's a winner. This one's a clear winner. I'm going to give this eight stars. However, the uh, white jersey is a completely different story. Um, first, the likes. I do like the stripes in flag configuration, similar to the 2010 winning jer jersey. I actually really like that the crest is uh, with a red background and yellow like the home jersey. It actually makes it really stand out. Not totally sold on the centralized stuff. But uh, the glaring thing is, of course, the choice of color. I don't mind Spainy blue, but light blue. We already had it in 2012, where they had kind of the tire going uh, across, which looked odd. Here, I... <laughs> what is this? 
and light blue, uh, <laughs> especially the group there that uh, they're in. Spain could wear a white jersey against Japan, for instance. Although I think it it, it might look alright, uh, blue again against red. I think it's always a nice match. But they might be able to wear a white jersey. They cannot wear this one because it's blue. I really do not get the pattern. Looks like uh, some something of a sidewalk on a beach resort. Uh, it looks odd. It really, really, really looks odd. And for me, it's even more so. You know, you have so many great artists that have been in Spain. You could use like a Miro, a Dali, or you know, something. Like, or, you know, even a Picasso uh, shirt. I think that I would get more than this sort of geometric nonsense. And then uh, the darker blue thing is around the color. It, it just it doesn't fit from front to back. It's a jersey that I did not like from the get go. Not only did I not like, I, I positively hate this this one. And so yeah, Spain's away jersey is only a two star for me. And we are moving on to Costa Rica, the only New Balance team in uh, this uh, World Cup. And well, there have been some interesting, sometimes garish, sometimes a little bit odd looking, but there have been some interesting Costa Rica uh, shirts. This one is so average and bland. The Costa Rica crest, the new one, is also, I honestly, I mean, not that the old one that I have on the jersey here is that much greater, but just CR and then this kind of, it, it just leaves me wanting. Uh, the best thing about these are the blue sleeve cuffs and, uh, you know, maybe the white collar. But there is really not much there. To me, this is almost a point, point missed. And I would love to compare this to the Denmark jerseys, which I gave five stars. But there was at least a little bit, you know, there was some reference to an old pattern. There was a little bit more. These are just plain. And for Costa Rica, I'm a little bit uh, disappointed there because uh, you could use like Brazil a little bit more. I'm also going to give this a five star, but suffice it to say, I am not impressed with this one. And the away jersey gave goes down the same route. It just takes out all the red. And egg, actually, I think if the color now would be red, this would add a little bit to this shirt. But yeah, uh, the sleeve cuffs too thick. <sighs> It's almost a, like there is no effort uh, or no thought, 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 thought given. I would even go with this for four. And we go on to Germany, another jersey that I divide opinion. I find definitely more loves than hates for this one, but I'm not on the love side for this one. For me, the black center stripe looks positively odd. And I know there's historic precedent for that. Uh, that I think the first Germany jersey when they were still Prussia or the uh, yeah uh, the Prussia they had the uh, a thinner black sand to stripe. I'm all for giving Germany a more modern look. Uh, it took me a while to get 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 used to, but I really love this particular ger uh, Germany jersey. So doing something different is not a bad thing. I also think that this jersey uh, lives. Or, and dies with the pants that it is worn with. I think this one looks much, much better with white pants than with black pants. Because for black, then it's just way too much black. I actually think with white pants, this looks actually quite the part. By itself, yeah, it's a little bit of an Ajax look in black and white. Um, I do like the um, round neck with the Germany flag. I've maybe left it on the sleeve cuffs as well. Uh, the golden accents are a nice touch. All centralized makes sense because of the center stripe. I, it just doesn't look really Germany to me. I think that that's where I always come back to. Um, it's not a bad shirt. However, I just cannot get... I, I In my head, I cannot get around to it. Uh, to really liking it. Take it for what it is. I'm going to give this a six star. Uh, it is, to me, it's just too odd. It doesn't say Germany to me. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Where's the away jersey? I mean, uh, definitely the order look of the two of them. But I do love the color combination because all the colors of, of the flag, although gold is, it's a heraldic uh, or a vexi, vexicological gold, which means yellow. A gold, uh, when, when they say on the flag there's gold, it, it means yellow. 
uh, but you know, they go black, red, gold uh, with a pattern that at first you wonder what is this and then just I tell you, look at the DFB lettering that is used. That's exactly what it is. There's the DFB logo all over and then, uh, you know, a little bit made more abstract and turned around. Um, I do prefer Germany in green. However, having a red black jersey every now and then uh, does not bother me because it actually makes sense within the context of Germany. And this in particular is a, is a really nice look. Yes, it's a DFB logo, which is kind of boring, but uh, you know, with this weaving in and in out, there's some, some text action that, that I find actually quite interesting. Um, I actually do like this one. I actually do like like this one uh, It's one of better uh, the better efforts of uh, Adidas. I'm gonna give this an eight star, and we are at the last team, which is Japan. And I totally get what Japan wants to do here. Uh, they put the uh, uh, an origami piece on there. Uh, you know, again, like Adidas is doing for all these, kind of have a little bit this uh, 3D effect on there, uh, and it looks all quite interesting but when i see it in play and uh you know when you buy it i th i think the rare the replica jerseys um the white is not as in in in, in your face but in play um it the blue almost get, get, gets lost because of all the white it's almost too strong i really like the origami effect there However, I wish that it was maybe not so all over, but a little bit more uh, better chosen that the blue can shine through more. But then Japan has had, uh, as of late, quite some crazy jerseys that, that were not necessarily all blue. Um, it's also a little teeny bit odd. The three stripes are in white, but then the side stripes and the, the, to the tail go in red. And it's worn with yellow numbers, so it's a very, very colorful look overall. I do like the idea. Execution is a little bit lacking for me. Um, that is where I'm landing on this jersey, going back and forth. It went from one that I said, "Ah, this is one that I really want to have," to one when I saw it in play, and when I and the more I look at it, nah, it's not really, really working out for me. For that reason, I'm gonna go the Germany route with uh, six stars here. I do love, however, the away jersey. Duh, I'm wearing it in this video because it has the same idea. Uh, you have the origami birds uh, here, the, uh, the same shape, but it's on only on the sleeves, which makes it a little bit more understated. Uh, you have it in two colors, in red and in blue, and I really need to look at this with 3D glasses. I don't have any. I, 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 may, I may just fetch some from somewhere because I think there might be even a 3D effect. It's supposedly going for speed, but um, you know. But I really like the overall look of this shirt. You have the white with the black, which is always pleasing to me. It's actually this might be the better Germany shirt uh, here, but then on the sleeves you have this uh, the the origami pattern with a little bit of a twist there, and you have red and blue, which are both colors that I associate with Japan. Uh, Japan playing in blue jerseys at home, but uh, the flag is all uh, red, uh, uh, white and red. So it makes sense in that uh, way. Maybe the black is the one color that sticks out a little bit, but I honestly think this jersey looks better with black. I also haven't mentioned yet, and I'm not sure if I have mentioned in previous uh, video, the new Adidas logo. While it takes get some getting used to, I actually think this is a stronger look than just having here Adidas down, but uh, that's probably beside the point. I really, really like this shirt. Again, duh, I'm wearing this shirt. It, 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 this was among the first ones that I wanted, I wanted to buy. Uh, sadly, we probably will not see it at this World Cup. But, you know, it's a nine star for me. It's the best of the group in my. And then Japan have also released a third kit, the so-called kimchi look, I think, uh, which is kind of this, uh, uh, it's based on a traditional Japanese sweet uh, that is green and pinkish. Going from the best kit, we we easily hit the worst one. I, I know this one divides opinions. Some really love it, some don't at all. 
I was looking, it's just the colors are so off on this one. And I know this exactly from the dish, the, the, the colors. Uh, so I totally get it. It just should never be worn together on a soccer jersey. Uh, no. <laughs> that is almost worse than a Spanish away jersey. However, I give it the same grade uh, as a two star, but it's not a good looking jersey. I'm sorry. And there we have it. Where do you agree or disagree with me on these jerseys? Which ones did you like and dislike in particular uh, in this batch? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.